In this lesson, I'll show you how to use the modified Euler's method with predictor corrector steps. The modified Euler's method is a better estimate for a solution to a differential equation than the ordinary Euler method if the average slope over the interval x sub 0 to x sub 1 is used instead of the slope at a point. We've already done a video where we use the Euler's method to this exact same example, except this time I'll show you how to use the modified Euler's method to get a better solution. The question reads, find an approximate solution to y prime is equal to x squared over y with the boundary condition that y is equal to 2 when x is equal to 3. Calculate y for x is equal to 3 all the way to x is equal to 10 in steps of 1. This part right here suggests that delta x is equal to 1. And we'll use that as we come up with our solution. The first thing that I want to do is find out what the slope is at the point x is equal to 3 and y is equal to 2. So let's go ahead and do that. We have y prime is equal to our first slope, which is this number subbed into there. 3 to the power of 2 is 9 over 2 substituted here gives us 2 and our slope is 4.5. So I'll make a note of all the steps that I'm doing. We have x, y, 3, and 2, and we found the slope to be 4.5. Our goal is to find the next y coordinate. We know the x coordinate will be 4. We're looking for this. And the way we do it originally is we take 4.5 and we write down y sub 2 is equal to the slope 4.5 times delta x, which is 1. That gives us 4.5. And we add 2 plus 4.5, which gives us 6.5. Although, according to the modified Euler's method, this number is not good enough. We want to do a better job than 6.5, and there's a better mousetrap to this. In fact, what you do is you take this point 4 and 6.5 and find its slope. Let's go ahead and do that. We have y prime is equal to our second slope, and our formula was x to the power of 2 over y. So we have 4 to the power of 2 over 6.5 and this gives us, let's use our calculator, 4 to the power of 2 divided by 6.5, and we get approximately 2.46, 2.46. So instead of 6.5, what I can do is write down y sub 2, our second ordinate, is equal to our previous ordinate, which was 2, this number, plus the average of the slopes that we found, this one and the previous one. So 2.46 plus 4.5, and when you take the average, you add them up and divide by 2. You then multiply this by delta x, which is equal to 1. So y sub 2 is 2 plus 2.46 plus 4.5. That's divided by 2. We don't need to show this multiplication by 1 because it will give us the same thing. So our new y coordinate, instead of 6.5, is 5.48. So this becomes 5.48. Now that we've corrected our ordinate, I'm going to go ahead and find a new slope using 4 and 5.48 as a point. 4 and 5.48. So my new slope is, our equation was x to the power of 2 over y. x is 4 to the power of 2, 5.48 as our y. Let's find out our new slope. 16 divided by 5.48 is equal to 2.912, 2.912. And I'm rounding here, although you shouldn't really round. I'm just doing this for simplicity's sake. We found the new slope, and with that, we can once again find out what the coordinate will be. Our next point will be at x is equal to 5, and let's find out its y coordinate using the original Euler's method. We can do that by saying y sub 3 is equal to the slope, 2.92, times delta x, which is 1. And then we take this number and add it to 5.48. 2.92 is the answer here, plus 5.48 will give us our predicted y coordinate. This gives us roughly 8.4. And I'll write that here, 8.4. But once again, this is not good enough. And we have to correct this. The way we correct it is we use the same method as before. So what we can do is use these points to find the slope. And we can do that easily by taking m is equal to our function, which was x to the power of 2. So 5 to the power of 2 over 8.4.
Let's see what that gives us. 25 divided by 8.4. And we get 2.97. 2.97. Now, like I said, this is not good enough. So we will use the exact same formula as before. But instead of y sub 2, it will be y sub 3 is equal to our previous y. Our previous y was 5.4. 5.48 plus the average of the two previous slopes. This one, 2.97 plus this one, 2.92 divided by 2, we're taking the average, times 1. Let's see what the corrected ordinate will be. 5.48 plus bracket 2.97 plus 2.92 divided by 2, and we get a corrected value of 8.425, 8.425, so I'll switch this with 8.425. So far we have three points and two corrections. If you do this up until x is equal to 10, you should end up with a table that looks like this. Take a look. Notice that the second column here shows the approximate y's, and we found these already. Remember the 2, the 5.4, and the 8.428? And if you keep doing this, you end up with 25.61. And we do have the exact y coordinates for this differential equation. They're shown right here. Notice that the errors are very small in comparison to the original Euler's method. And I encourage you to watch that video because you'll notice that the errors will not be as profound as before. And so there you have it. That is how to use the modified Euler's method with predictor corrector steps.